What's good, everybody? Yes, your boy. Oh, Shay Duke Jackson. Back at it again. For another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Uh, guys, I, I want to talk about this whole situation going on with this Caribbean comedian by the name of Maja Hype, right? And basically, he does a lot of impersonations. Some of you guys may know him. And he's real big in the West Indian community, right? In the United States um, and abroad. And a lot of people like his social media comedy. I never heard of the nigga before today, but shout out to the brother, right? And, uh, you know, he doing his thing, right? He doing his thing. A lot of people mess with him. He has a you know, relatively large following on Instagram, relatively large following on, um, I believe he's even on YouTube, right? But we're not talking about him because of his following, because that's not what we hear. We hear because he got some domestic problems going on family, right? And the domestic problems are coming from his ex chick by the name of Letitia. Now, I ain't gonna lie. She look good. Now, I don't know if it's his ex wife, you know, because it's not really not a whole lot known about her. But the one thing I can say, she look good as hell. No doubt about it. If I was to see her, I would definitely buy her some sandals, okay? And they've been in an on and off relationship <clears throat> okay because she says the dude is like abusive he be smacking her up and all this but i look at this post right here right it was all good just a week ago and this photo here this was like two months ago right and he says this take music before i met you I never knew what it was like to be able to look at someone and smile for no reason. I love you. That was just two months ago. Three months ago. But man, now, now, now it's problems, right? Now she said that, you know, she's coming out with the abuse and all of this because he been doing this for so long. He was trying, she was trying to prove to him that she wasn't a gold digger. And all the lies stop now, right? But what happens is this. Somehow this nigga got her phone, right? Stop the show. He got her phone. Allegedly. And they were supposed to be in a relationship for some time, right? So he releases a sex tape of her and another dude. Stop the show. Stop the show. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes. She has on her phone her getting hit from the back by another dude that's not him. So that's probably, if, and if I'm thinking about it, this is probably why he's mad at you and probably went upside. I don't know if he did it or not, but see, she's trying to save face now, right? She said the video was 10 years old. But who keeps a sex tape? Think about how 10 years old it is, right? That means nobody would keep the same phone. That means you would have to have the same phone since 2010. So every phone you got, you transferred a sex tape to each phone you have on your phone. That don't make sense. You was cheating on this guy. He found out. And, you know, give me some like fighting sound effects. Right? Now, this is what I want to do. I want to, I want to, you know, she actually made a video about this. So basically, I'm going to play a few minutes about the video. And, you know, she's all you know, mad and all this other stuff. We're going to talk about that. Then I'm going to come back to it. So I d didn't want to speak about it again, but I knew that it was going to go here. 
And like I said last night, I'm not letting anyone put me into hiding or shame me under a rock. Now, instead of being a man major hype and apologizing publicly to your fans, to me, after everything that I said, instead, you release a sex tape of me and are sending it all over the place, all over the world, a sex tape of me from 10 years ago. What do you think that that is going to prove? What do you think that that is going to prove? You think that that is going to make you look like a better person? Releasing a sex tape of me from years ago, you think that that's going to make you look like a good person? You think that is the answer. So people are sending me this tape left and right from years ago. And the tape, my hair is short. My hair is all black. At the end of my hair is red. You could, I, I, you know what? I don't even have to go into that. I don't even have to go into that. I didn't go into detail about what the fuck you did to me. But I'm not going to shut up. You're not going to shut me up and put me under a rock. You're not going to shame me. You should be ashamed. You should be ashamed for faking a heart attack, looking for sympathy. You should be ashamed. You broke my phone because you saw that I had all the pictures of my bruises and my faces. My face, you broke my phone. And now you're going through my phone and digging up old stuff from my old phone and releasing it to people. When does it stop? When do you take accountability and stop looking for sympathy? You're a sick, sick man, and I'm not keeping your secrets anymore. Every time you try to hurt me, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to tell the truth. You didn't have no heart attack. You did not have a heart attack. Okay? Stop looking for sympathy and own your shit. Own what you did to me. I didn't post a picture of my black eyes or my bruises. You put me in the hospital. I didn't tell, come out and say that. I made a general statement. And this is what I get. You releasing a sex tape of me. You releasing a sex tape of me. Coming up to the end of it, you tried to kill me. You pulled out a gun on me. You pull out a gun on me and then turn around looking for sympathy and cut your arm in front of my face. Start slicing open your arm in front of my face. It's a sick game that you're playing, but I'm not playing a game. This is my life and you're trying to ruin me. And I know the truth about you. I know who you really are. I know who you really are. I have a son and you're going to put out a sex tape on me? You want people to think that I was cheating? Is that it? Even if I was, even if I was, it's no excuse for what you did to me. It's no excuse for what you're what you're doing, what you're still trying to do. And I'm not going to be quiet. You're not going to shame me. So, guys, you heard what she had to say. And yes, again, she is fine. I'm not even going to lie. You you look really, 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 really good. I definitely want a simp for you, baby. I'm, I'm just telling you. Now, the sister's over there talking about, you know, protect black women and all of this stuff. And I'm going to talk about that also. Because now it's protect black women. You know, because now he didn't put that he didn't put that tape of you out there with another guy is protect black women. Now, let me just say this. Revenge porn is against the law. Can't do it no matter what you no matter how you feel. OK, but see, here's the thing. If it's about protect black women and you know that this guy was, you know, a dude that was, you know, being mean to you, not treating you right. Like, why not leave him then? You know? you Obviously, you're an attractive young lady. I'm pretty sure you can get somebody else. But it's like, are you just saying that because now he put this out there and that sex tape is going out and everybody knows? So are you trying to say face? I, you know, I don't know. But this is what I want to say. If it's about protecting black women, and I, I definitely agree with that, okay? I definitely agree with protecting black women. But see, here's what we need to do. If it's about protecting black women, black women gonna have to make some better decisions on the kind of men that they're dating with. I don't know the story. I don't know who did what. I don't know who's, you know, to blame or who's did what. I just don't know. But see, if it's about protect black women, black women got to protect themselves. All right, you got to make good decisions on the guys you want to be with. You know, especially if you're an attractive lady like her, you can be with almost any guy. Now, y'all not going to like her. I like her though. She can be with me. So again, what do you guys think? 
you know, for those of you who know the story, um, subscribe to the bell. Like I said, I don't know. I'm just trying to drop some tea on this thing or Hennessy, however you want to call it. And, uh, you know, let your boy know what's going on, bro. Check out the Patreon up at the top. Check out the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts. And as you brothers know, the buffoonery always remains at an all-time high. I'm out.